Hi, I'm Brianna Motzkus, and today is our Sunday box opening. Hello! So, uh, it's just me today. Um, Tracy is homesick. Um, and I'm doing this uh, Friday morning before work starts because it's just me and Denise and Denise has been under the weather also so um, I also have a retreat in to the retreat center um, from the Tri-City so um, close to home but they're a fantastic group um, they're in Daisy House but so I feel like um, to be supportive of Denise who hasn't been feeling well and um, who's a little down on energy because, you know, it happens. Um, I felt like I could do it this morning. The girls are entertaining themselves in the playroom very nicely. So um, we'll see how far we can get before um, Maisie comes and finds me. Um, if you're new to our channel, um, me and my mom own a quilt shop in Ephrata, Washington. Uh, we have a huge 5,000 square foot shop packed full of every kind of quilter's cotton that you can think of, whether it's flannel, regular, good old cotton, lots of boutiques. Uh, we're kind of one of your one-stop shops. We've got basics, we've got prints, we've got newest collections, and that's what we do here in box openings is we open boxes that have just come through FedEx and UPS. Um, we were a little slow starting um, the new year due to some ice storms in our region of the country and um, it has definitely um, filled back up. So we have three brand new collections to open. Oh, I keep saying we, but it's just me. Um, uh, Mom, uh, Cindy, she is in Indonesia on a um, cruise. So we also do quilting cruises. We do about two a year. We do one in the spring that's kind of quilty, that um, maybe we take sewing machines with us, maybe it's handwork. We do something together and then we do one in the fall that's kind of fun. And I guess that kind of varies. It just depends on where we're going. So mom is in Indonesia, Bali, gonna visit Hoffman's Batik Factory. Super exciting. Um, and then we actually are doing another cruise in August. It's actually a fundraising cruise for the Hood River Quilt Museum. So we are kind of the guests of honor to help um, do that. But a portion of your ticket to uh, go on that cruise with us goes towards the Quilt Museum so they can keep up the exhibits, they can pay for restorations, all that kind of stuff. Everything costs a little bit and when they're nonprofit, it's sometimes hard to raise some of those funds. So that's in August. We're going to Alaska, which is super cool. So me, Robert, and the kiddos um, are going to go to Alaska. Um, it'll be my first time to Alaska, um, which is kind of cool. You'd think I have been there before knowing it's just, you know, a hop and a skip away from us really. Um, and then in October, mom and I think dad are going to Egypt, which is also fantastic. Uh, so you can go to our website, fabricpatch.net. Look at all of the fabrics we have in the store. I don't know if every single piece of fabric is actually on our website. There's a lot to do and it's just me to do it. So you might not find everything, but you can always email us and I can help you out and find what you're looking for. Uh, but you can also, on the website, there is a button that says cruise with us, so you can check out the cruises that are happening. Um, when, look at the flyers, talk to the guys. We go through a company called RGE Travels. Ray and John are fantastic. They are traveling with mom at the moment in Indonesia and our group of about 40 people. Um, they travel with us. They make sure we hit where we're supposed to hit, uh, get where we need to go, if there is some sort of a transportation issue, they handle it. We just follow them like little duckies and it is the best trip ever. So it's really nice. If you're someone who wants to travel with a group, there are perks of that. Maybe you don't have a buddy who wants to travel with you. We'll be your buddies. You can also check out on the website, there is a retreat tab. So you can check out our retreat center. If you're interested in coming for a visit and you have a group of girls that want to come and so with you for a few days there's that and we also do hosted retreats so again if you alone or you and a quilting buddy want to come to one of our retreats and eat meet new friends hang out there's also some openings in some of those and um, our hosted retreats start in May and end in mid-October so super fun so let me get started with some boxes I think I'm gonna go rally a North Cap box is something I want to have over there. So I'm going to grab a box real fast and then we'll open see what's inside. Here are three boxes. 
to go through. Northcott is fantastic. Here's my packing. Cedar Crest Falls from Northcott. If anybody uh, rings a bell, if you've been watching any of their social media pages. Super cool. Ooh, a pattern. Oh, they always get taped to a bolt. Beautiful. I love Northcott. Um, and if you missed it, uh, Thursday mid-morning for us, we uh, had our temperature quilt. So along the Zoom goodness. Um, we will be doing it every first Thursday of the month to sew with our temperature quilt, answer any questions, do some showing of what we've been making. You can go to the website, search temperature, um, and you will see there's uh, red lines that say, hey, if you want to purchase this, you need to call the shop. You don't have to purchase anything. But the only, oh, here she is. The only way for me to put something on the website for you to see is I have to put a dollar, a value amount on it. But if you see on it, it'll say, hey, click the link below. It has all of the dates. If you keep scrolling down, it has passcodes. That will work every single time. It's just a reoccurring meeting. So all of that information will work every single month. If you want to join our little Zoom chat and hang out, see what's going on, to look how cool this panel is. I love this. I love how bright this is. I think this is fantastic. There's a lot of duplicated bolts. It looks like there might be running yardage. So it looks like we have enough to share for everybody. And then I do have a uh, another box down here. Do you want to say hi? Hello. Say hi? Hello. She stole her sister's apple juice. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Look at her fabric. Do you like it? All right, I'm gonna grab some, get some plastic off of this stuff and then cut a panel, see what I got going on, and then we'll look at it up close together. Crestfall is quite fantastic. So bear with me, I'm not sure how well I can show this off for you just being me here today, but it is stunning. There, It's very bright, fall, rich color. I am very impressed, not that it's really that hard for Northcott to impress me. I think everything they do is fantastic. They really take into consideration nature, color, the real feel they're trying to portray. I think they do a really, really good job. So the panel that goes with it is this guy. So it starts um, with the really pretty blue sky to look how those pretty those trees are to kind of a rock cliff awesome and does those yeah I feel like the color comes through pretty good it is bright green dark green some blue tealy tones I think they do a really really good job this is a 24 inch wide by 42 inch panel they do have one of the panel patterns or I guess both patterns so there are two patterns that they have that use the panel there is this one this one is called a viewpoint very very pretty so it is three sizes a lap a twin or a queen using one panel and a whole bunch of border treatments so you'll see they also do it in two colors whether you like it in the dark way or the light way and of course what they're doing is they're just border building to make the quilt bigger and bigger which is really really cool um, I'll make sure to have the back of the pattern on the website for you so if you want to get the appropriate yardage to make the size quilt you want you could do that so viewpoint is one and then landscape gallery is the second pattern i have equally fantastic so again um this one shown is 57 by 72 but you can make it in three sizes the back of it's a little a little funky but your main the main yardage is for the 57 by 72 you have the option to make it a tri panel which is a 61 by 72 which is like down here where you take this panel and you cut it into thirds and create that i i think that's really cool that little kind of triptych look on it and then there's also a queen side which is 80 by 91 but again it's all borders you know with 
the 57 by 72, the 61 by 72, and the queen size. They are just adding more border, more border, more border. And this one shows all of the fabric a little bit better, where it's just square, so you can really see the textures, where on this one it's kind of a, a braid, a, an arrow of color across. So it's just all about the color, not necessarily the fleece itself, where this really shows off the panel plus the yardage. Both really cool patterns. But if you are looking for a kit, sh shoot me an email, info at fabricpatch.net. I would love to cut you a kit. What I suggest you do is at least place an order. Place an order for the pattern you want and the panel, and then in your notes say, I would like a queen size quilt, please call me. And then make sure there's a phone number that I can reach you at. I'll cut the kit for you and then we will have one of the gals will call you and collect or we will send you a PayPal invoice. You can also put that in your notes. Say, hey, send me a PayPal invoice. I'll watch for it. Or call me for a credit card number. Whatever you want. Those notes we see. Uh, so it works really well if you have anything you want to tell us. But make sure you buy the pattern of the kit you want and at least the panel. And I can make the wet rest work just fine. She's back. She's got a ball this time. I know. Isn't it pretty? It's way prettier without the plastic on it, isn't it? What are you doing? Oh. Okay, I gotta show them some fabric. Okay, so there's panel and patterns. What is happening? I'm going to go set her back with Harper so we can show you this fabric. I'll bring her out later. This is running yardage. So if you like the panel, but you wish it was a little bigger or you have other plans for it, here it is. So this is running yardage. Let me see. It goes this way. So it's just like the tree line. So you've got that same beautiful sky, some mountains up there. Totally Pacific Northwest, let me tell you. And then you've got your tree foliage on the bottom. Look how fantastic that is. Oh, just gorgeous. Can you see that all? Love it. So it is 42 inches wide. And it just keeps going and going and going. So totally yardage. So if you wanted to do some sort of a whole cloth quilt idea, you can do that. Or... It wouldn't be Northcott without doing a gorgeous 108. So here's a 108 inch wide digitally printed backing. So this one is awesome. Let me see if I can again show it to you. It's hard with just me, but we're going to do it. So it's a lot like the running yardage I just showed you, but large. So they've blown up the scale of these trees to make it look appropriate for your 108. So again, starts with sky. It's got some birds in there. You may not, you may not be able to see. It's going to go into some cliffs, some backgrounds. You've got your trees and your trees just get denser and greener. Ba -ba. Fantastic. So it doesn't, so dark, getting back to the top of your trees, to the sky. So fantastic. So fantastic. Okay, and then I'm going to go around to the other side of the camera and I'll show you the textures. What's really cool about the textures, a few of them that I want to show you, um, that tree texture bit is in three different colors. I think this one is fantastic where it's very tonal, but it still has the tree texture. The other thing I think is awesome as I have not seen before in any other Northcott collection is this bark tree sticky, I don't even know, texture, which is super cool. Cause there's a lot of people and we even carry it here in the shop, you know, like birch tree where it looks like there's a bunch of little birch trees. That is something that we sell and we always try to keep in the shop because it is a very popular texture. This, I think, is a also one of those textures that I hope we see in more Northcott collections because it's really cool. Yes, it is a stripe. It has really good texture, but you can definitely tell it's 
branches. It sticks. It's definitely a fall tree. There's no leaves on it, but it has a really good texture. So I'm going to go around to the camera so I can pin down for it for you or pan down for it. And you can really see the colors and the textures and everything that's going to go with it. All right, here we go. So I'm actually holding the camera in my hands and it's not on a stand. So um, that last one, that's the extra wide. You've got this really cool kind of bubble raindrop in a dark blue and teal. This really pretty tonal kind of watercolor, very green, little bits of light blue in there. There is one of those stick branchy stripes in blue. Love it. I think it is fantastic. Also, how cool if you're going to do like a landscape quilt, that would be really cool water too, especially something kind of icy, a winter landscape. More of those trees. So again, those trees look just like the ones on your panel or your extra yardage. You can really see the trunk of that tree. It's going to be a dark navy background and then your tree green tones, teals on top. Another sticky branchy guy in green. So this is the same blue that's always at the top of each of your panels or your extra wide. There's no birds on this one. It's just that really pretty icy texture, a really good kind of um, ochre color. That stick one I just showed you, love that. Another um, oops, scenery one. So this is a lot like the scene that you see on your panel, just really small scale. Really pretty though. There's another tree kind of scene. Really pretty blue, aqua, teal. It is this, let me see if I can grab it without making you dizzy. It's this texture in more of a tonal look. What a cool background option. And then that last kind of water tonal texture. All right, and that's Crestfall. I'm gonna get this put all away and then I'll get to the next boxes. So as I was putting away that North Cot fabric, I have decided, I lied to you guys, I'm gonna cut some kits. <laughs> so I am gonna do mostly that lap size one, but keep in mind there are, of course, different sizes, different colors, whether it's the light or the dark. So same rules apply. If you log on to do some shopping and you cannot find a kit for sale, buy a panel, buy the pattern you want, give me details in your notes. Say, hey, queen size, dark please, boom, call me. I will still do it. So I'm gonna cut a few kits because I think it's just, the more I touched it, <laughs> putting it into boxes for us to cut on Monday morning. So uh, let me know. I'm gonna cut some kits. If you go into shop and you can't find the one you're looking for, buy the panel, buy the pattern, tell me in your notes what you want. I can make it happen for you. All right, this one, who is this? This is Jaff Tech. So Jaff Tech is the mother company to Free Spirit, Blink, Studio E, Henry Glass, and then on and on and on. A Jaff Tech has a whole lot of designers on the Nebo. So, it is, ooh, Jenna Nesbitt. <gasps> Exciting. Friday Harbor is the collection. It's Henry Glass. Very cool. I love her. She has quite the aesthetic. She's the crazy cool thing. Um, gal, you might recognize this. This is one of her signature pieces. It comes in flannel, or I don't know if you can see the plastic on, but super cool. Very rustic. It has a good cool feel to it. Um, I love that really cool plaid. We have a box down here too. I'll open up for us. All right. Oh, look at that. Super cool. Um, a little gold star, so kind of red, white, and blue is what it looks like, which I love. I cleaned up the Americana section the other day and noticed it was kind of sparse. So I'm going to get all of these opened up. We'll look close at them, but a very cool, rustic, primitive red, white, and blue collection. This got better and better as I was unboxing. So again, it is called Friday Harbor. Janet Nesbitt of One Sister Designs, super cute. There is a panel. Unfortunately, there's only one bolt of this panel and it is awesome. So it is a vertical panel. So it's 23, 24 inches wide by 42 inches long. Um, but you have these really cute on top, the blocks, 
the little quilt show today. That really looks like her barn at her place. How she strings the quilts on the rope and then more quilt blocks on the bottom. Super, super cute panel. What's really cool about Janet and Henry Glass is there's at least one, if not two, free patterns that go along with this panel. I have not looked to see what they are, but I will have them on the website in the Friday Harbor category of the What's New section in the website, fabricpatch.net. You can check it out there, and you can see how cool this is. I'm going to go around so I can show you. What's really nice is it looks like we have the whole collection. The collection is a whole bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 different textures and two colors. So it's very red, white, and blue. You've got kind of the barnyard red, a bright true blue, and a beautiful kind of creamy background. It is something that's really cool if you're doing Quilts of Valor, if you need or have more of those rustic tones in your house. And I kind of am all over. Like, I am all up for bright red, bright white, bright blue. But I also really like the more rustic stuff. I think this is really pretty. And I don't know if we could call it rustic. I think it's just a very traditional red, white, and blue collection. So I'm going to go around so I can show you these prints in both of their colors and you can see how cool it is. Okay, so here it is. Very pretty. It's coming through the camera. Let me see if I can darken it. It's coming up a little brighter than it is, but you'll see also in that panel, all of the prints you're going to see on the bolt are in that panel, which is really cool. So we're going to start right here. Uh, I don't know if that's totally true. Like this one's coming through that's more of an orangey red. It's really not. It's very red. This is a little bit of a darker barn red and this is like a true barn red. But you've got kind of that really cute, almost like a flowery texture going on. You've got that in red and kind of a dark denim blue. And then you've got this guy. I love this print. I love that kind of spiky swirl or really cute hand-drawn stars. I think that's great. You've got that texture in the red and the dark navy blue. This kind of zigzaggy stripe texture. Love that. What a great border backing for a Quilts of Valor quilt. I think either one of those is fantastic whether you do the navy background or, and again, it's a parchment background. It's not a bright white background. These two are kind of her beiges. So again, a background to go along with the panel. These are the only two, they don't come in other colors. So you've got this polka dot with a star. I love this. I think this is a perfect just stash piece of fabric. If you like kind of that creamy parchment-y background option. This one is the same as the background of her panel. So if I bring her panel up here, it's the same one. So if you're wanting to extend it, add some borders, do any piecing, um, it's the same thing. And then you've got a really cool plaid. You've got it in kind of a, it's a lighter barn red, but again, it's not on the pinky side and that really cool blue with a little bit of red. I absolutely love this churn dash print. This is my favorite. I love this one. Um, I just finished, if you guys have seen my crazy star pattern uh, YouTube class I did that features Janet's crazy piecing technique, I finished that. I should. I almost brought it today to show you guys, and I think this would be a fantastic back for mine. I love it. I love the churn dash. So again, blue with red stars or red with blue stars. You've got kind of this wavy star. Again, it's a little, has a little twig in there that then showcases that really cool star. So parchment on red. You can almost not see this one, but a dark denim. Again, it's coming through a little brighter than it truly is. We've got a denim with a black print. A fantastic stripe. You've got navy with red and parchment, and then you've got parchment with that red and navy. Also fantastic. Next, we've got this really cool kind of starbursty looking one. I don't even know how to describe it, but I think it is fantastic. Again, the red with the, and it could probably more navy than black maybe with the star in the burst and then the reverse beige, red, and navy. Again, I love this one, super cool. 
a tiny little thin plaid almost looks like a woven it's not but I love that fine line plaid in there and then lastly this very cute little folk posy um, a light blue on red and a light blue on navy fantastic and that is Friday Harbor All right, I hope I'm not fuzzy. I didn't realize when I focused that this box was in the frame, but uh, it is. So, I've got two more free spirit boxes, but I happen to know they are different because when I was moving boxes around the other day, one exploded, and these three came spilling out of it. That's fantastic. What? Um, and this is blank. So, again, another branch of Jaff Text. Let me get this guy open. Um, what is it called? Um, Chantel. C-H-A-N-T-A-L. Um, very beautiful from what I can tell. But again, I'm a bright floral kind of gal myself. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, oh and it just gets better. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a panel. Love it. And bright. Uh, it kind of has, like, an in-the-beginning feel to its, to its brightness, but definitely stands on its own. Look how fantastic that print is. So I've got two boxes of this gorgeousness. So I'm going to open up both boxes, get some plastic off. I'm going to get a panel chopped off for you on this one. I'm excited to see what that one really looks like. And then we'll look up close together. I've got some good news. I got some bad news. Uh, bad news. Mm, I don't know if it's even bad news. It's just news. That second free spirit box did not have more of this beautifulness. It had something super cute in it. So good news. This is what I'll show you. So in the other box, that seemed way too big for these six pieces, but it is a cute little vegetable collection called Let It Grow. It is adorable. This is a little soft book um, that is Let It Grow, super cute about gardening. It is just adorable. Oh, I just like it so much. I'm a sucker though for a soft book. I think it's so cute. Grab your shovel and watering can. It's time to come up with our gardening plans. I love it. Some plants grow tall reaching up towards the sun and mushrooms are a fungi to have hanging around. Ha ah, fun guy. <laughs> Super cute. Well, the pumpkins are round when the harvest is done. Love it. So a soft book. Again, you can add the crinkle fabric to add some texture to it. Do nothing, just sew it together. And of course, on the panel itself are the instructions on the bottom on how to make your soft book all by yourself. And then a second panel. Now this panel doesn't have a line. It just has a little, so you'll see these blocks are separated by a cute little sashing strip. The sashing is just bigger and there's not really like a dotted line. So you could do a really fast whole cloth quilt to keep in a car. Um, if you're someone who goes to like a Saturday market and sells some vegetables, it might be a fun one for your little person if you have a little person going with you to lay it on the ground and have a little like picnic blanket. You could get two panels that are connected and just put a fun back on it, quilt it up real fast. It's super easy to wash, dry, put back in the car, do whatever, a super fun one. So again, really fun, larger blocks, um, really cute, homegrown, let us eat. Oh, I can't read backwards. Um, let us get planting, I swear that said eat on the backside. Let us get planting. Hello, gorgeous. Gord. Gorgeous. Love it. Soil mates. Ah, so cute. So fun, bright, happy vegetables, gardening. Super fun. Perfect for springtime. I know as I'm filming today on Friday, um, Groundhog's Day. I don't know if uh, our little hedgehog has seen his shadow. If he was here in um, Washington State, there would be no shadow to be seen. So, we'll see. I don't know. Um, super, super fun. Um, there are coordinates to go with your two panels. So I've got a book panel, 
the block panel again no line you could get to do a fast hole cloth and then look at this for a little person apron look how cute that is so bright kind of a limey green background with the whole scene of gardening so you've got your little tomatoes having a picnic your watering cans your pumpkin patch super cute the worms talking to the turnips I think it's just adorable. Get a yard of it. Make a cute little little person apron so they can help you garden. I think that's fantastic. Um, a cute little toss. So this one's a bright white background. I, don't, I hope you can see it better. When I go to show you the other collection, I'll pan over these so you can see maybe a little better. Um, bright white. You've got a little bit of lavender mixed in here for the shovels and the watering cans. You've got a smiling sunshine. You've got boots and ladybugs and bumblebees. And everybody is t uh, you know, twisted around, flopped around, so it's not directional. You can just use it any way you want to. And then you've got the cute little springtime raindrops. This is the sashing of the blocks. So it's the same one that's in your blocks. Is this so if you want to add a fun border or anything you could um, and I guess it is the tiny little divide in your book panel too uh, lastly ladybugs so bright white background pink posies and tossed ladybugs super fun all right and then the original box that I opened was, again, I think it's called Chantel from Blank Fabrics. There is a panel. There is a line on this panel. It is fantastic. You can use it as a panel or you could even cut it up. This collection, there are only eight pieces and the panel. So I'm going to do some half yard and one yard cuts and then you've got the panel. I think it'd be great just to cut up. Whether you want to do something um, blocky, just use it as an extra texture if you're doing like a three yard quilt. Use it as some of your, you know, eight inch blocks or whatever. I think it'd be really cool. Um, I just love it. Bright white. I love the diamonds and triangles on the corners. The big medallions. I just think it's really cool. Taking kind of that big scale print and turning it into a panel into your showcase piece I think is super cool. I would love just this even hung. You know, frame it, trim it up, starch it to a wall. This is this is my jam. Super, super cute. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to show you this fabric up close and then I'll pan over the Let It Grow real quick for you. All right, here it is. Super stunning. Look how bright and vibrant and happy and just so awesome that is. Um, I love every single one of these pieces. So you've got this kind of really cool art deco um, mosaic-ish piece. Super bright, marbly pieces. Lovely. A little floral toss. This is a bright white background. So again, any kind of a solid white or white on white would look fantastic. It looks like little twigs of like baby breath and other little cute floral pieces. Um, fun floral. This one's a kind of a busier piece. Let me see if I can show it to you a little better. A little bit busier, but I love it. I love that really cool printed background. Again, it's just straight black, so a piece of solid black. Some bright white will go great with this. Um, and has that floral on it, I think. That's great. I really like it. A really cool bright floral. This is the one that really makes me think. Oops, sorry. Makes me think in the beginning. I don't know if it's the texture, but I think it is great. That really cool triangle, 60 degree triangles, half square triangle, fun, mixy bit. Let me see if I can focus that a little better for you. Oh, love it. Then we've got this fun, subtle print. Kind of looks like sashed blocks. Just tones of pink, a little bit of orange and white. This is a really pretty blender piece. This is actually like the border piece that's on your panel. Let me grab the panel for you. All right. Oops, sorry. Sorry. So here's your panel, and then that little sash piece is this piece, which is super great. And then last but not least another fun big medallion I like that's a little it's a little distressed I kind of like that 
and some really bright floral overlay. Awesome. So again, I'll have some half yard and one cut, uh, one yard cut bundles for you with this collection. Again, it's little. It was eight pieces and a panel, which is pretty great. And then this is Let It Grow. So you've got, again, something that works great with bright white. The ladybugs, the raindrops, the toss, and the vegetable garden. And then your two panels. So that's what I have for you today. Little Miss found me again. Um, with a handful of Cheerios. So uh, a little bit of everything for depending on what your little style is that you enjoy or what's on your to-do list. We've got the Cedar Fall North Cot Collection. Very woodsy, green, super, super fantastic. The Chantel, the Let It Grow, and then what was Janet Nesbitt's collection called? Friday Harbor. Super, super cool. A little bit of every, but everything for whatever you're into. So I love it. And those of you that are local or local-ish um, or in the state, we are, of course, back open um, Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 5. In the spring, we'll do our extended hours, but we'll let you know as soon as that happens. It'll be on our website and everywhere else. But if you were waiting to spend some gift cards or to come over, um, you might still wait yeah. for weather, depending on what side of the state you live on. Um, but we are back open if you want to come hang out and see us. I am still working on cleaning up some other things. It's still not 100% where you're going. 100% done. But it is a little more shoppable than it has been in the last couple weeks. So. <laughs> come in, hang out, come see us. Um, and then, what are you doing? <laughs> she can see <laughs> You saying bye? Bye. So yeah. So have a fantastic day. Enjoy bye. shopping. And then I will see you for Fabric Chat. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Yeah. 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 Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net. This is at um, Fabric Borobudur, and this is our breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we have to order our coffee that they'll make any way we like. This is the hot stuff. It's all Indonesian. Indonesian porridge. Show. Porridge. Oh, here we go. And then the toppings. All the toppings. For whatever. In Asia, they don't eat just sweet stuff. They eat no. savory. Yeah, so there's rice, vegetables for breakfast. Can't wait to tell the kids. This is chicken in curry. This is, of course, fried noodles. This is salted squid with green chilies. I'm not tasting it. This is um, sauteed tofu with salted egg. I might try that. This is a uh, pasta carbonara, potato waffle, sausage, and again, more toppings with chili sauce, tomato sauce, spicy stuff. Oh, and Ray found his favorite. All He's excited. Indonesian. Oh, all Indonesian. This is the these crackers this. are so good. And you gotta have, you gotta have this. Going Wait, what is what is this? Uh, that is tempeh, sambal goreng tempeh. It's a savory, and they eat it with rice. Because in Asia, you eat rice, you can either do both. Because a lot of the sweet stuff in breakfast is for dessert. This is all. Uh, this is what all is that? That's like um, pineapple. No. Is it? It's, no. It's ambon. It's um, like a rice cake. Oh, a rice cake. And then this. We tasted this last night. I didn't care for this. This was sort of gelatin yeah, stuff. Yeah, gelatin. Yeah. Kind of this is the purple rice. Purple rice. With coconut milk. And then this is their brown sugar, which they call gula jawa. This is another one called um, kacang iju. It's a mung bean. Oh. And this is how they put um, for their spoons when they're, not uh, when they're not being used. They don't just leave them in there. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that a peanut? Those are like a peanuts. boiled, boiled peanut. What is the purple yeah, it's cassava. thing? Cassava. It's cassava, banana, and pork, uh, corn. And corn. 
And this is all the different juices that are all natural that help you with different things like uh, you know, you have arthritis, all that kind of stuff. Wow. Things that they have made welcome tea for us every place and oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. And then there's more over here, of course, um, melon, watermelon. I'm assuming this is dragon fruit. Is this purple one dragon fruit? Dragon fruit? I think so, pretty it sure. Is. Uh, it yeah. is. Cat says yes. <laughs> and this is something, assorted smoothies. And, um, oh, yes, of course, um, sake. Uh, salad bar. And so you, they have, And then of course for us Americans, they've put some cereal out here for us. These are interesting little cocoa flakes. More juice. We have pokoi, lime, pineapple juice, honey juice, watermelon juice, and um, melon juice, and orange juice. The honey juice, I'm not sure what that is. And then of course, pastries, Indonesian pastries. This is the weird thing that's gelatin and it's strange. But this is interesting because instead of cream, it looks like a Bismarck, but instead of cream cheese in there, it is, uh, or I mean uh, whipped cream, it is Parmesan cheese. Not terrible, just weird, but good, you know, just different. And then all kinds of things here. Look at that for a way to serve donuts. Isn't that fun? And then some just very traditional stuff and then all kinds of different things to put on our toast and then wait one more thing sorry I hope I'm not making you dizzy so you can eat inside if you'd like to eat inside or we're all eating outside we um, were sitting out in the out there but you can see now again it's raining it's the rainy season here the end of the rainy season here and so we're gonna go over here Here's the pool. Here's Pa eating with Amy. And out here are the fritters. So um, I tasted this one. This one um, I think is chicken. This one is a um, banana fritter. These are all warm. Um, this one is, um, I can't remember what that one is. Uh, uh, mm, gosh, tapioca. That one is tapioca and this one is peppers. I didn't taste that one. And then, oh yes, no, I was just uh, filming. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought I needed, had questions. And then this is um, assorted dim sum. <coughs> Something here. So yeah, really nice. Anyway, so this is our um, Indonesian breakfast. Oh, and back there in the back, I don't know if you can see right back there, that is um, an egg station if you want to. Um, an omelet. So anyway, this is our Indonesian breakfast buffet in uh, Borobudur.